All right, hello, hello, and welcome to a VO's journey. My name is Anthony Pika. This show is all about helping the new and upcoming voice actor grow their business, sidestep all the crazy things that this guy seems to step on. Welcome to the show. Today we're going to be talking about how to get your files in Audacity be able to use them in Isotope, especially with RX8, and that it's 64-bit and not 32-bit. So we're going to be showing you. I'm going to show you just the easiest way to do it, all right? Um, real quick, before we move forward, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right below. Tick the notification button. And always, always, please leave comments, questions if you need something, okay? All right, let's dive in. So you can see I'm in Audacity, and it used to be that all you had to do to get RX7 all right, or Isotope um, products or any plugins that are 16 bit into Audacity is by simply going to the plugins folder under your library, right? Under Audacity in your library, the plugins folder, moving in those plugins into the folder, okay? And then basically coming into Audacity, uh, going to the tools, add and remove plugins and basically they would show up here and all you would do is come in here and where it said new you would hit enabled that would enable it and then you'd hit okay and that would make it ready to go for you in audacity however when um, rx8 and isotope or any other plugins move to 64 bit it's important to note that you it's not very uh compatible well, it's not compatible with um audacity so so the best and simplest way to do it is literally just do it outside of the platform. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to come in here and you've recorded something, which I've recorded here. Hello, hello, mic check, mic check, one, two, one, two, mic check. All right, so I just recorded uh, something here. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to export this as a WAV file, okay, and I'm just going to call it uh, test one on my desktop, all right, and I'm just gonna hit save, okay? And basically, I've saved it on my desktop. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up the RX7, uh, I have RX7 standard or RX8 or whatever, and I'm gonna pull that up in the editor outside of Audacity. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come up here to file. Uh, when I'm in this, I'm gonna hit open. All right, and on my desktop, I'm going to see that here is the file. I'm going to hit open. That places it right in the editor. Hello, hello, mic check, mic check, one, two, one, two, mic check. All right, so now what you what you hear is if you hear right here, just real quick, oh, I'm going to go ahead and do that because I have that instant process on. So basically right here, if I play this, you can hear, one, two, one, two. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there's definitely a click right here, all right? And if we go here, there's definitely a big old click right here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm literally gonna put in the instant process. Uh, I have mouthy click on, and I'm just gonna literally do that. Click it, it automatically takes care of it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm gonna listen to, listen to, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click that off. Go ahead like this. Check, one, two, one, two. It's taken care of it, removed that weird click noise. Then I'm gonna come back up here and I'm gonna go to save or save as. All right, I'm gonna replace it, there you go. Uh, now all I could do is I can literally come in here, I can go up here and I can hit open. Go to my desktop, hit this because we just did it, put it back in there. All right, now the file is back in here. Hello, hello, mic check, mic check, one, two, one, two, mic check. No click. All right, and that's how you edit uh, RX8. And I know I was using RX7 standard, uh, but RX8, seeing that it's 64 bit outside of Audacity. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Again, please make sure you like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, please leave them below. It always helps uh, me know what kind of content to make for you guys. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.